Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here, and this is going to be your weekend of March 7th and 8th for the collective, okay? So that's all signs together. And we're going to ask Spirit to give us the message for the energy of this weekend and any messages that you need to hear, okay? So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button with a little bell notification for new videos just like this one coming out every single week as well as the new moon and full moon readings, which the full moon in Virgo is up. So you can check that out on my channel. And all of the March 2020 readings are up and they have the energy healing to go along with it. So you can check that out. All right. So definitely here we've got the devil. We have the eight of swords. We have the page of swords and we have the page of wands here. So there's some toxic energy sitting around you, and I feel like you have to kind of figure out who it is. And some of you, because again, these are it's a general reading for all signs, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But some of you could be it could that toxic energy could be yourself. It could be the negative thoughts that you keep saying to yourself because of the eight of swords here. You feel stuck. You feel like you shouldn't, you're not where you're supposed to be. You feel like you can't make decisions. It's like that that toxicity, the negativity might be keeping you stuck of where you are. And, you know, the devil card, you know, this is my narcissist card. So you definitely could also have a narcissistic person around you that isn't helping that situation, right? Because they're gaslighting you, which is basically making you feel like you're the problem, making you feel like you're the crazy one making you feel like you're in this eight of swords energy here, trapped and stuck and blinded. So really important to be aware of what that energy is for you, the toxicity. This, the toxicity also could be the energy of lack. We just did this in the Divine Empress Club when we we're doing our weekly live tarots where it was like a lack energy, which when you have a energy of lack, you're gonna bring in more lack. So again, be aware, identify this devil energy around you. Who or what is the toxicity around you that is keeping you stuck in this type of energy? So next we have the Page of Swords followed with the Page of Wands. Now the Page of Swords to me is all about boundaries. So when you do identify, they're giving you like a game plan here. <laughs> when you do identify that toxic energy, it's time to cut. It's time to set some boundaries so that you can protect yourself because they're draining your energy. And when they drain your energy, you don't have time for you. You don't have enough left for you, for your family, for your children, if you have any. Um, you just don't have that time. So you really need to protect yourself around either the energy within or the energy without, but there's definitely some energy that needs protection from. There's some YouTube videos online. You can go into the frequencies and, you know, just Google or just type in YouTube um, about releasing negative energy. You might want to do that as well, because if you have this type of energy around you, whether it's yours or theirs, um, you definitely want to do some clearing. Okay. You've got the page of wands here though as well. So like there's opportunities here for you, but I feel like you can't see them because you're too caught up right in this energy over here so when you move the dark cloud away the sun shines and that's what I'm feeling here for you so move the dark energy identify you have to identify it first else you don't know what the heck you're moving then we have the two of pentacles the six of swords the ace of cups and the strength card so once you do that, I feel as though you're going to start to balance things a lot quicker. So over the weekend, like they're showing me like getting together. So, um, you know, just make sure that uh, you stay away from this type of energy. But the two of pentacles, so you're going to be balancing things a lot easier is also what I'm getting there because you're letting go of stuff with the six of swords. And then you've got this ace of cups. So I'm telling you, when you can identify and set boundaries and let go of what is bringing you down, that's when things are going to happen. That Whatever you're wishing for that you can't get clarity on, the clarity is going to come when you protect your energy, clear your energy, and let go of all the toxic energy that's in your life, okay? And letting go can just mean setting boundaries. It could mean, you know, getting rid of the person in your life. 
Um, but definitely setting boundaries and then let them choose what they do with those boundaries. Let them choose if they like them or not, or if they walk away or they don't. But you don't have to make all the decisions. All you have to decide is what is good for you and what is going to protect your energy because that's what's going to bring you the clarity. I love this little lotus flower here, white, right? This is the crown with mixed with a little third eye chakra here. So that's when your clarity is going to happen is when you do let go, when you leave things behind and you gain your strength back because this energy that's on you or this narcissistic or toxic energy that's around you, this is not good for you right? You can't see your strength because you're kind of blinded. And you look at this card, Eight of Swords, she's blinded. She's trapped. You know, the crow's got the ribbons. She has no control here. So once you release all of that and you're set free, you're going to gain your strength back. All right, let's see what other messages pop through here. What other messages do they need to hear for the weekend of March 7th? Okay, so we have Peacock, raise your standards. So again, this energy that's around you, that's bringing you down, that's not giving you clarity, like you, you need to know that that's not good for you and you need to know that you're worth way more and that you have to raise your standards. Standards in relationships, standards in work, wherever it is, raise those standards because you are worth it. Intuition, trust your intuition. So again, once you move this, it's going to be easier for you to hear, to trust, to decipher um, your intuition. Because I always say the ego is like a holler and the intuition is like a whisper. So when you have all this gray clouds, black clouds all over your light, which is your intuition, you can't hear it. You can't see it. You can't feel it. So once you let that go, it's going to, you're going to feel so different because your energy is going to be different because you're not going to have that depleting you all the time. Dragon, discover your courage. So I just did a video in the Facebook group about this, about the ego, learning how to dance with the ego. And you have to discourage, discover your courage. You have to realize that you can do anything that you want to do, but you have to move the ego out of the way so that you can get to it and take action. All right, let's see. And one more, please. Wow, okay. So we've got the giving and receiving. The entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalation, exhalations. When you only exhale, give, or only inhale, receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe. For optimal health, energy, and replenishment, balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation. So again, opening to receiving, opening to giving. I just did a, um, a healing in the Divine Empress Club with this, where we have to open up ourselves to receive. A lot of empaths, a lot of codependent people only give, give, give. So if you're a people pleaser, you have to learn how to open yourself to receiving in order, because it's a law of the universe that it's an equilibrium between giving and receiving. So if you're giving, 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 which is what this seems like here, you need to make sure that you also learn how to open to receive, because that's when life really turns around for you. Okay. You also have creative project, which is your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. You're guiding, we're guiding you to infuse art, art, artistry and creativity into your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passion towards your life. Ooh, I love that. I don't think I've ever gotten this card before. Um, so creative project. Get creative. Be a kid again. Have fun. Life is about fun. It's not about trying to figure everything out. It's not about dealing with this person or situation that's over here for you. It's about getting back to your soul, figuring out what you like to do, getting back to your childhood. So if you have no idea when I say, what do you like to do? Because you're always working or taking care of the kids or cleaning the house and like you never have any time for yourself. It's time to make that time because that creative project right? Get creative, learn, do music, art, 
healing, um, anything that you want to do, creative project there. Get back to the, to the happiness. And then we've got wedding here. Marriage is the union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect, and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to your well-founded faith in love's power. Continually breathe life into the faith and love, dearest one. That's Archangel Mike, uh, uh, Raphael for you there. Um, whew, so, yes. So if you're, you might be going to a wedding, you might be getting married. If you are, congratulations. Um, but you also might be going to a wedding. But your wedding day is a testament to your well-founded faith in love's power. So if you've been suffering from this narcissism, toxic situation over here, if it's a relationship for you, even if it's a friendship or whatever, you've got to get back. Like, And I, I always would read this as to joining your own soul right? Letting go of that ego and connecting to your higher self. So if this doesn't resonate with you in a wedding in the physical sense, this could definitely be in the spiritual sense. It's like marry yourself again, right? There's a song called I Miss Me More. And it's because when you're in this type of relationship or friendship, whatever it is, it's like you lose yourself. And between the creative project and this card, it's about, and the giving and receiving card, it is all about bringing it back to you and finding yourself again. So it's like date yourself, marry yourself, like treat yourself as though you want to be treated. Because I'll tell you something, you only allow people to treat you the worst as what you treat yourself. So think about that for a minute. So if you don't hit yourself, so a lot of people will say two things to me um, in family and friends and people that I've talked to. It's like they will be emotionally abused, even sexually abused, um, but they will not be physically abused. When they are physically abused, that's when they are leaving. Or when they are cheated on, that's when they are leaving. But everything else is okay. I'll stay because everything else is okay. And... We, we put that limitation because we probably treat ourselves emotionally bad. So if I'm saying negative things to myself, then it's okay for other people to say negative things to me too. Subconsciously, this isn't being aware of it because obviously we don't like it. But subconsciously, it's not enough to leave them because if I'm calling myself, you know, fat or something and they call me fat, then that's okay because... It's not worse than what I'm already doing to myself. And again, this is all subconsciously. So you have to really marry yourself again. You have to connect to yourself again. You have to find that self-worth in order for you to have people in your lives that are going to treat you better because you're going to know that you're better and that you're going to treat yourself better than they're treating you. And if you're treating yourself better than you're treating, if you're treating yourself better than they are treating you, then why are they around? because you don't need them, because you're already happy with yourself. So that is also how I can read that wedding card for you um, about just kind of really connecting to yourself, figuring yourself out, finding yourself. All right. So that is that. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the reading. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you like the weekend readings. Let me know in the comments below. Um, if I get enough comments, I will do it again and we'll see how it goes. All right. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell notification to get uh, videos. I am going to be doing a lot more videos on YouTube. So you definitely want to get notified when they come out. Healings, tarot, um, good stuff. Okay, and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Much love. If you haven't followed me over on Facebook, you can do that down below in the description box too. Much love to all of you. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.